गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर प्लीज लेट मी नो यस सो टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक लेटर सीरीज do invite all of your friends who are preparing for csar net or ugc net or gate exam or upsc exam many exams this questions are asked from this topic so it's a common topic in most of the general aptitude test for competitive exams so let us discuss letter series in detail uh, as we discussed earlier the objective of this course and for more study material you can buy our book in amazon and flipkart which is the best seller book the latest 7th edition you can buy it from amazon and flipkart and check out our other courses we have provided in this channel complete free courses in this channel csr net there are many courses csr net pyq series containing more than 300 videos of questions of previous years one by one discussed that playlist you can check or 2023 2022 question papers if you want to separately see the solutions of those solutions are there in a separate playlist and if you want to see the other csar net general aptitude course we have provided earlier recorded courses that also you can check out in this channel and if you are preparing for gate complete course for gate is available free of cost so that also you can refer If you are preparing for UPSC exams, also there is lectures on that, and Vedic math and school maths or Vedic math related lectures are also there in this playlist. So you can check out these and try to share this to those people who want to attend these sessions. So and this is how you can be part of our initiatives: Telegram channel, WhatsApp group, and the blog post where we provide free study materials of all these topics. so by scanning this qr code or checking the description of this video you can join these resources okay so we have already taken a session on number sequence or number series today we are discussing letter sequence or letter series in the next lecture we will discuss about symbol sequence or symbol series also letter sequence or letter series is clearly based on english alphabets a b c d e up to z So A is the first letter, B is the second letter, up to Z is the twenty-sixth letter. This letter position is very important. So the letter position you should know. Uh, so to know that there are some techniques, I will tell about that. In some questions, you need to write letters in reverse order. Reverse order means. z should be the first letter y should be the second letter up to a is the 26th letter in reverse order na so this is also important so forward order and reverse order is important what all are needed for this chapter that is what i am teaching as theory and then i will show you few practical questions by which you can understand this concepts better so to know the order of letters this code will be helpful forward order reverse order you cannot use this code but for forward order the ijoti code will be very helpful what is ijoti code in english alphabet 5th 10th 15th 20th and 25th letters are e j o t and y respectively so that is ijoti code how this is helpful for example if you want to know the position of the letter u we know ijoti code and t is 20 in that code we know we know 20th letter is t t next letter is u so 21st letter is u you don't have to count from 1 2 3 up to 21 to find that that is the use of ijoti code for all of you understood what is ijoti code to understand the position of letters this ijoti code is very helpful why position of letters is important you will understand when you see questions now in some question i told you reverse order is important and in some question equivalent positions you should know for example in forward order a will be the first letter na in reverse order z will be the equivalent so a and z are connected in that way a and z are connected in that way b is the second letter y is the second last letter so se second letter forward second letter in reverse order third letter in forward order third letter in reverse order and so on 
and another important concept you should know is the alphabets are in a circle circle means it's a cycle that means a to z after z it is not the end it's the beginning a again after z again a is there so which is the third letter after z if someone ask you you can say it is c because after z a b c so consider it as a cycle of letters and the cycle of letter will help you to understand another thing also for example if you are taking two cycles of letters a b c d f to z so it not only in this chapter in the chapter coding decoding also this is important coding decoding which we will take in another session for example look at this if i am turning the circle if i am turning the circle a and d e are equivalent that means a plus 4 letters is e so four letters are turned here so b plus 4 is f c plus 4 is g and so on i am telling an example how a letter sequence can be created but with the question only you will understand this better so we will go to questions so an example c and y are connected s and o are connected i and d e are connected R and N are connected, so C S I R can be coded as in coding decoding also this way the questions can be asked. So there also the circle of alphabets or this letter sequence idea is needed. So and and uh, and in English alphabet you know that two types of letters sometimes they can ask question from this also till now question is not asked in C S I R some U P S C exams this is asked, but vowels and consonants also it is good to know A E I O U are the vowels. and the remaining letters are consonants now with question i will explain more concept on this i will show you one of the simple questions asked which was asked in 2016 net exam fill in the blank f2 d8 c16 b32 and a64 all of you can try it please try this all of you all of you try this Many of you got an answer. Very good. Very good. Yeah, poll feature. We will try to add that a free in the upcoming session because poll feature need extra plugin and all. We will try if possible. We'll add poll. But at least use the live chat feature. And those who are watching this as a recording, you can mention the answer as comment so that we can get an idea that you are trying the questions also when the question is displayed. So. one second okay so we'll discuss very simple question now most of you got so this is an alpha numeric sequence we can say alphabet and numerals that is number sequence and letter sequence is there number sequence we have taken a, a detailed session in a previous class you can check it out those of you missed it so this two missing number 8 16 32 64 64 as a matter of fact it is a geometric sequence about which we discussed in the last class 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 So two into two, four, four into two, eight, eight into two, sixteen, and so on. So that is simple. But today we are discussing about letter sequence. Now, what is the letter patterns here? A, B, C, D, E, F in reverse order. So it is E. So it is a short, straightforward question. And E is there only in one option. That also confirms without even looking at numbers. You can say only one option how E in it. So that will be the answer. so that is a very simple question but let's see little more trickier question one question asked in 2022 in atx in chemical science paper and life science paper two papers the same type question was asked every subjects these kinds of questions can be asked so look at this question carefully and try it i'll give you two minutes to try all of you try
ini ansos so if you got an answer let me check the comments yes amia this like course will be completed uh, when we complete the topics after that if the response from students are good we will plan for a gate exam course also even if this course is useful for gate maybe a dedicated course for gate if you people want such a course if the response is good or if the students are increasing daily we will try to go for a gate course otherwise we are planning for paid courses also in the upcoming months we'll update you about the paid courses also for csar for gate for upsc and for different exams do let us know how many of you are interested for paid courses also free classes will always be there in this platform we will not be deleting any of the content all the content we have uh, provided it is primarily for those people who want to uh, learn general aptitude and want to improve general aptitude so those free initiatives will be here and those content will be here but paid courses also we are planning to start very soon because then only we can also sustain and we can also uh, continue teaching so uh, many of you got an answer for this question let us discuss a equal to 1 b is equal to 2 up to z is equal to 26 i showed you already the forward order that forward order itself is mentioned in the question that means substituting that you can get the answer here now you want to you have to convert that letters into numbers that is the idea so just convert it that is the thing and i will tell you what you can do for improvising and getting the answer faster so a is the first letter b second c third d fourth e fifth and m is common in all the letters all the uh, um, uh, terms here so m is 13 so minus 13 minus 13 minus 13 five times and in the denominator n is there n is 14 the letter so substitute that and z y x w v are the last five letters substitute those numbers so when you substitute you will get like this now yeah the improvisation you can do is 13 is common 14 is common so you just have to think 1 minus 13 2 minus 13 the difference will be just 1 so that way you can subtract faster and all when you get this is minus 12 you can say then minus 11 minus 10 minus 9 minus 8 follows similarly 26 minus 14 12 then 11 10 9 8 follows you can say that means numerator denominator both cases 12 12 1 11 11 10 10 9 9 8 8 is there so cancelling that you will get minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 that is 5 minus multiplied you will get minus 1 itself minus 1 by 1 is minus 1 is it clear all of you yes kiran deep that way also you can improvise very good all of you clear how minus one is the answer this is a 2022 question one more question for another subject it was asked same type we will add that in the study material if possible i'll show you one more type of question so that you get as much varieties as possible in this session itself okay we will discuss the next type this one this is a homework question this one we will discuss this is another type of letter sequence that was asked in previous net exams make a try all of you will give you two, two minutes all of you try this Thank you Afreen, slides are actually made by Jesse sir, so thanks to him for making the slides uh, really, really uh, uh, aesthetic and very useful for students also, so many of you got an answer, very good, very good.
Okay. So, we will explain. Find the missing letter. So, here also if you want to understand this faster, you can convert this into numbers using this code. A, B, C, D, F to Z. That code you can use. So, substituting that, A is the first letter. B is the, C is the third letter. E is the fifth letter. G is the seventh letter. Uh, and continuing that you can you can see the numbers easily. Then if you look at it, you can see that the first column, 1, 3, 5, 7, 2 difference. Second column, minus 2 difference. Third column, 2 difference. Fourth column, minus 2 difference. All of you are seeing this. And here you can get a confusion, 1 and 25. They are actually, yeah, I think the slides will just adjust the position just a minute. Okay, look at this. Just a minute. Okay, look at this. This this is how you can convert the letters into numbers, and after converting, you can see that one three five seven nine eleven thirteen missing number seventeen nineteen twenty one twenty three five three one twenty five. And this A, as I told, the cycle of letter idea is here. After Y, Z, A. So, here it is 2, two added, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Here it is 2 subtracted, 13 minus 11, 11 minus 2, 13 minus 2, 11. 17 plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Here it is minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. But 1 minus 2 is 25, how it is? Because it's a cycle of letters. Yeah, in mathematically speaking, it is modulo 26. But non-math background students, don't worry about it. So, I will tell you one thing. This is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is, you don't have to actually convert it into let numbers. You can directly look at it and if you carefully observe, without even converting, you can do this. A, B, C. B skip, next letter C. C, D, E. D skip, next letter E. E, F, G. Next, one letter skip G. Then look at this, G, H, I, I, J, K, K, L, M, M, N, O, O, P, Q, Q, R, S, S, T, U, U, V, W, W, X, Y, Y, Z, A, cycle of letters again, y, A, B, C, C, D, E. This is another way of looking at this question. Column wise, row wise, looking at it, that is one way. Another way is looking at the question like this. One more question of the same type I will show you so that you get this concept cleared. If you want, you can convert it into numbers. Otherwise, without that also, you can do this question. So, try this. If the session is useful, do hit the like button, do comment on the section and do uh, comment on the session and do share this video to maximum people. As I told, this is a common topic for other exams also this will be useful. All of you tried? Some of you got an answer? 
some of you got a wrong answer also no problem i will explain happy to see that more people are trying so in this question if you want you can convert into numbers first i will do that and show you uh, or uh, without that also you can do this is one way of doing it look at the letters and do it a plus 1 is b b plus 1 is c c plus 1 is d so plus 1 is the idea in the first row in the second row f g h i f plus 3 is i f g h i third letter from f is i that is the meaning of plus 3 or you can say uh, two letters skipped then i both means the same plus 3 or two letter gap both means the same i j k l plus 3 l l m n o plus 3 o so second row is actually plus 3 pattern arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3 mathematically speaking then k l m n o p plus 5 p q r s t u plus 5 u v w x y z plus 5 so plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 so most probably this may be plus 7 let us check it p u p, you can check this p q r s t u v w seventh letter is w w x y z the cycle of letter concept then a b c d so fourth seventh letter na 3 plus 4 seventh letter so plus 7 plus 7 so d plus 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 k so k will be the answer otherwise if you want you can convert it into numbers and do it also but if you are confident without converting itself you can do it now this is a little more challenging question very old question i mean 2012 this was asked but i want all of you to try this as a homework question and look at the solution very time consuming question that is a main problem with this question even if you understand the solution i will not recommend you to do this in the uh, exam time because this consumes a lot of time the solution is given here go through it so this is the basic idea of letter series or letter sequence did you understand all of you whatever we have discussed till now is it clear or not letter sequence or letter series a comparatively easy chapter comparatively less number of questions also were asked in cscr exam but this is a chapter that was asked in different competitive exam and another question asked was this this also we will add in the study material download the study material after the class it will be available in our blog post or in our telegram channel and whatsapp group also we will be updating the study material once it is ready so be part of our uh, uh, handles telegram or whatsapp uh, or even youtube if you uh, subscribe you can get our updates from the uh, community post also so uh, that's it do let us know what you felt about this class in the comment section uh, so these are the concepts you should understand ejot code and other things we have discussed hope all of you understood next class we will discuss about symbol sequence or symbol series so that's it if there is any other doubts you can ask any other uh, things you want to tell any suggestions also are welcome we'll wait for one or two minutes today we got a little extra time so definitely you can uh, tell if there is any suggestions or any concerns hope this course is going well and i know uh, daily sessions we are still not able to do because of many other things that we are into so uh, but uh, as i told all the major topics for cscr net we are trying to cover before the exam uh, as much as possible we'll cover before the exam and as i told any topic that is left behind that sessions will be there in the channel one way or the other i will tell you how to see that lectures or just go through this that is what i will suggest you so if you are preparing for the upcoming exam uh, go through this course also cscr net general aptitude full course so any topic in case in case it is pending that will be covered that will be there in this uh, course also check it out so trigonometry okay mam p i will try to take a session on trigonometry also uh, trigonometry is already there in the plan so we will be taking but maybe towards the end of the course so that's it if there is no other uh, suggestions or concern we can conclude here for all of your preparations are going well and uh, do invite more of your friends as i told students the crowd is a big inspiration for any educator to be regular or be 
uh, active more in the channel because as I told daily just five minutes before this class I concluded another class and just five minutes break I had for taking dinner and after that I was immediately starting the class I wanted to do that because I know that there is a crowd that is waiting for, for me to attend the live class itself recorded class there is a very big audience I know but live students is always an inspiration for uh, interacting and that will uh, inspire us to take more live sessions otherwise recorded sessions only we could have recorded and uploaded but that is just one way we will not even at least few students attending the live class we will get an idea where students are getting trouble even the students who are attending recording also we consider you people as a representative of them so what are the concerns students generally have we will get to know from you people that is why we want to continue this course as a live course itself Otherwise, we could have recorded all the lectures and uploaded, which would have been easier. We don't have to stick on to the same time and uh, take live session. But uh, we think that live sessions are useful for students and students also will feel an enthusiasm that there is another person who is sitting live at this moment for taking class. So that itself is a uh, motivation to learn. That is what I think because I too, when I want to learn something, when I learn it from a live class, the experience is little more better that is my perspective you people also have that perspective i guess that is why many of you are attending live so thanks to all live learners and thanks to all those who are watching recording also uh, recorded uh, those who are watching recording the only way we can get uh, uh, get update from you is through comments so please comment what you felt about each of the sessions that will be creating a connection with us so we will also get to know okay these recordings those who are watching they are actually getting benefit or they are also be pa being part of this learning community so please do that that will be a good thing that you can do those of you are watching this as live or recorded do let us know what you are feeling so that will be good and uh, to be frank that will be a good thing for youtube also to know that this lecture should be shared to know more people that is a parameter youtube set also so technically also that is that will be good for this free class to reach to more people. So if you feel that we are helping out students, do help us to reach to more people. So that is a request to all of you as I always say. So and as I told, uh, as I tell every day, support similar initiatives. Whoever is trying to make an impact through the free classes, support them more. Paid courses you can definitely attend but free classes if you attend or not try to support it by sharing it to more people so that's it thank you all of you take care all of you have a good night see you all in the next class symbol sequence most probably tomorrow we will discuss about symbol sequence thank you take care bye bye